Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with Node.js. Our viewer is trying to pass a large array to a child process for some complex CPU-intensive tasks, but they hit a roadblock with an error message that says spawn E2 big. Let's dive into the details of this issue and explore some potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To begin, we need to understand the issue with passing large arrays to a child process in Node.js. When you try to spawn a child process with a large array, you might encounter an error called E2Big. One solution is to use streams instead of passing the entire array directly. This allows us to send data in chunks. Let's set up our child process with the appropriate options. In our main script, we can write data to the child process using a writable stream. This way, we can send our large array without hitting the size limit. On the child process side, we need to listen for incoming data from the standard input. This allows us to process the stream data correctly. If the array is still too large, consider using message passing with the fork method. This allows you to send messages between the parent and child processes without size limitations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To pass a large array to a node child process, you can use the fork method from the child process module. First, create your data as an array of random numbers. Then, send the data to the child process using the send method. In the child process, listen for messages and handle the data accordingly. If you're experiencing delays, consider chunking your data into smaller pieces for better performance. This can help with processing time. Alternatively, you can use third-party libraries like Messenger.js or AMQP for more robust communication between processes. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. pass a large array to a node child process, you can use an in-memory cache. The parent process stores the array with a key, and the child process retrieves it using that key. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To pass a large array to a node child process, consider using OS pipes for input. You can also utilize the cluster module to create multiple instances based on your machine's cores, which can speed up processing. If you don't need all data at once, consider using streams. 
for very large data stored in a file to handle errors more effectively during processing. Here's a simple example of using the cluster module. In the master process, you fork workers equal to the number of CPU cores. Each worker can then perform tasks independently. For more information on sending messages across workers, check out the linked Stack Overflow question. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When considering passing large arrays to a Node.js child process, it's important to think about efficiency. Sending data between processes can be costly in terms of CPU and real-time performance. Instead, a better approach is to use a worker thread that operates within the same memory space as the main Node.js process. This can enhance performance significantly. You can utilize the NAN library to write C++ code for your worker thread. This allows you to perform calculations and send results back to the Node.js event loop without the overhead of inner process communication. While this method requires writing some C++ code, NAN simplifies the process, handling most of the complexities for you. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To improve performance when passing large arrays to a child process, save the data to a .json or .txt file. Then, simply pass the file name to the child process. This method can lead to a significant performance boost with improvements of up to 70%. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.